I'm here at Red Hat Summit with Pete Bry, and data sets keep getting bigger and bigger all the time. Uh, NASA's recent example of five petabytes of data around that black hole they analyzed. Yeah. Uh, like, how do you move that around and, and actually do anything with it? Yeah, the, the fact of the matter is it's very, very difficult to move large data sets like that. Um, in the case of the black hole, you know, uh, the picture that they developed, it took them two years to gather all that data and bring it together. They, uh, as you mentioned, it's five petabytes. Um, they actually, so they didn't actually um, transport it over the internet like you would expect. Um, and there's been calculations that have been done out there that just to move a petabyte worth of data could easily take a month. And for them, that just wasn't an effective way uh, to go about it. Um, what they did instead was they actually, they had uh, 40 drive shelves that were eight drives each, uh, 14 terabyte drives, so do the math, five petabytes, and they shipped it via FedEx. Um, so it was kind of mind blowing that they would use that kind of a method, but it actually worked for them. And they actually interviewed the guy who was the shipping manager for all of this, who worked with, there were, there were eight different telescopes uh, around the world where they brought the data in from. I'm assuming for like real-time business information that, that FedEx is probably not the ideal scenario for no, data. No, absolutely not. And so how do you solve this problem in the real world? Uh, one way to solve the problem is wherever the data lands, that's where you leave it. Um, it's expensive, uh, it's time consuming to move data like that. Um, it's resource intensive, uh, particularly if you're moving it into and out of public clouds, there's costs that are associated with that too. So our advice from Red Hat is, once the data lands somewhere, leave it there, create a centralized resource to be able to access that. So how does Red Hat enable that? So interesting you asked that. Red Hat, uh, I think it was last December, we bought a company called Nuba. Uh, and Nuba is a technology that allows us to virtualize storage wherever it is in the world. So it could be in public cloud, it could be Amazon, Google, or Microsoft public cloud, it could be your own private cloud on premises. We will virtualize all of that storage for you into a single endpoint. So you don't have the problem of, oh, it's in Amazon, it's in Microsoft, and I have to go get it from those two different places. We take care of all of that for you with our Nuba technology. So you make it appear that it's local to the to the end user regardless of where it's actually sitting. Exactly. Yeah, we make it really simple for them so that we we basically abstract away all of that complexity on the back end for them. And and then that results I assume in cost savings because you're not pulling stuff in and out and getting data transfer fees. Exactly. Exactly. And case in point, I was recently at a data analytics conference and working in the booth and one of the customers that I was talking to told me, yeah, about two years ago, our bosses came down and said, we're going to move everything to Amazon. And they did. And they were successful in doing that. But then here we are two years later and they came down and said, okay, changed our mind. Now we want to move over to Azure. How do we do that? And his problem was, I've written all these scripts to make all these references to my S3 storage on Amazon, and now I've got to update it. And it's a real challenge for him. With the Nuba technology, again, we abstract that away into a single endpoint. And so you don't have that issue when you want to be able to move uh, in and out of these different types of services. I could see that being a real problem because, uh, you know, if you've, if you've You've probably got some technical debt you've acquired along with writing just just writing the scripts. Oh yeah, absolutely, and uh, we can really help them with that problem. Cool. Well, thanks, Pete. Awesome. Thank you.